Wellsy. It was a surprise present from my mum. Shall we go for a ride? I haven't got a bicycle. Oh, yes, I forgot. Could you borrow one? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Grandpa, how do you ever find anything in here? <laughs> because I never throw anything out, I know that whatever I'm looking for must be in here somewhere. I just move a box here, and move a box there. Aha! Here it is. <laughs> Isn't she a beauty? My old bicycle. It's got a very big basket. Oh, very useful. And the seat's really high. I can easily drop the seat. I think it might be too big for me, Grandpa. Oh, not at all. With a few little adjustments, it'll be perfect. My mum gave it to me. You're so lucky, Elsie. Oh. I know. <sighs> That's about the right height for you. Try it out for size, Zoo. <laughs> Good. You can touch the pedals and you can reach the handlebars. But the front tyre is flat. It's only a puncture. Oh, dear. I won't be able to ride your bike after all, Grandpa. Nonsense. I'll have that puncture mended in no time. <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you about when I won the Grand Tour de Montagne on this very bike? Ah, Zoo, those were the days. Hmm. Shall we go and play on the swings, Elsie? Sorry, Zach. I can't play right now. I'm waiting for Zoo. Brilliant! We can all play on the swings together. Uh, Zoo and I are going on a bike ride. <gasps> a bike ride? Cool. Can I come? But you haven't got a bike, have you, Zach? Neither has Zoo. He's borrowing one. I can borrow one too. But Zoo will be here soon. It doesn't matter. I can catch you up. Another time, Zach. <sighs> when you get your own bicycle, we'll go cycling every day. I promise. <laughs> As good as you. Thanks, Grandpa. It's... Uh... Perfect. With brakes like that, you can stop super quick. Your bicycle's really fast, Grandpa. Hmm, it was state-of-the-art in bicycles 50 years ago. But did I ever tell you about the time... I'm going to beat you this time, Zoo. No, you won't. <laughs> Zack! <laughs> 
but my scooter isn't. Come on, Zach. Let's pick up all the broken scooter bits. Why bother? It's just a useless old scooter. You never know, Zach. <laughs> Careful, Zack. We don't want any more accidents. <laughs> huh? My bike. It won't go. Hmm? You've got a flat tyre, Elsie. But it's a brand new bike. You probably rode over a sharp stone. Oh, no. Don't worry. I know someone who can fix it. Grandpa, we've got a broken scooter and a flat tyre. <laughs> well, now, that's a challenge. My new bike's already broken, but your really old one is still going. Grandpa's bike is special, Elsie. He rode it in the Tour de Montagne. It's a race. And he won. Wow, it must be really fast. It's got brilliant brakes, too. <laughs> Grandpa says you can stop super quick on his bike. I'd love a basket and a shiny bell on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't make bicycles like this anymore, Elsie. Let's get to work. Zach, one perfectly safe scooter. Thank you. Oh, it's brilliant. A million times better than before. Mind you, take care of your scooter, Zach. Get your dad to oil it regularly and check the wheels too. If you do, it should last as long as Zoo's bicycle has. I will. <laughs> right, Elsie. Let's take a look at your bicycle. should have a bell. And the basket, too. They always come in handy. You've got a new bike with some old bits, too, Elsie. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure, Elsie. You're so clever, Grandpa. Oh, fixing things is what Grandpas do best, Sue. Did a great job. 
grandpa and his assistant. <laughs> I decorated them. Can we start? Of course. The first car that drives once around the house wins. Right. Hold on while I go and tell everybody. Mom, Grandma, hmm? the big race is about to start. Oh, well, we don't want to miss that, do we? Absolutely not. We'll be there right away. Yeah! Dad? I'll pop upstairs and tell Nana. I'm sure she'd like to watch the big race too. Oh, she does love a race. Dad? Dad? Yes, Sue? The big race. It's starting. Coming. Hurry up. Are you all right? Nothing serious. I'm fine. Just slipped. Ouch! Oh, oh, ah, ah, oh. What's wrong? I think I've sprained my ankle. Here, lean on me. Slowly. I'll go and get the ointment and bandages. Oh, ah, oh, ah. going to wait? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps you should go and see what's keeping them. Okay. How does that feel? Much better. Thanks. Mom, Dad, Grandma, we're waiting for you to start. <gasps> A silly little accident. I slipped on the stairs and twisted my ankle. A couple of days rest and it'll be as good as new. Does it hurt? Not even a teeny weeny bit. The only problem is being stuck in this armchair all day. Hmm. Like me, when I caught zebra flu last winter and had to stay in bed all day. It was so boring. I'm afraid I'm going to suffer a serious attack of boredom stuck here. Hmm. No, you won't. I'll keep you company. But what about your big race? You're more important than the race, Dad. That's very kind, Bizu. <laughs> the race is off. I need to help my dad. But you can still drive around the garden, Elsie. Do you mind? Of course not. <laughs> Four. One, two, three, four. Hey! <laughs> it's your turn, Zoo. Dad to Zoo. Hello. Your turn. Ah. Yes. Sorry, Dad. Six. One, two. Rum, 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 rum. She's gonna win. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Sue, are you sure you want to go on playing this game? No, you're right. I'll go kiss another one. if I run out and have a quick race around the garden. Bizu. Mum! I... Grandma was really impressed when I told her you gave up the race to keep Dad company. She's going to give you an extra yummy piece of chocolate cake. Yummy! Oh, Dad's waiting for a new game. <laughs> Do you have, in the baker's family, the daughter? Mm. Brum, 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 brum. Yay! Brum, brum, brum. 
soon. Mm. Oh, yes, um, the daughter. Here you go. The baker's daughter, Zoo, not Miss Cod. Oops. Why don't you run out and play with Elsie for a while? But what about you? I'll be all right. I can read my paper. Chocolate cake for an extra nice little zebra. Mmm! Thank you, Grandma. My pleasure, dear. It's all right, Dad. Really, I won't let Elsie distract me anymore. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel a bit tired. I think I'll have a nap. Hmm? Oh, do you mind if we finish the puzzle later? Oh, if you're sure, Dad. Hmm. All right, just give me a shout when you wake up. Okay then, on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> How's your ankle? It's much better now I've rested it. Where's Zoo? <laughs> huh? Zoo, watch out! He? But, Sue, what were you thinking of? It's Dad. He's awake. And I can't have fun while he's stuck in his armchair. I've got to go back inside. Unless... We could ask Dad to join the big race. In his armchair? Yep. Grandpa, could you put wheels on his armchair? Yes, of course. <laughs> what a good idea. Vroom, vroom! Ha <laughs> ha, this is great fun! Vroom, vroom! This was a brilliant idea, Zoo. No chance of being bored now. Thank you. Not too fast, Dad. Watch your ankle. Ha <laughs> ha, right. Oh no, you've overtaken me. Oh, 
nothing in here either. It's really well hidden. Zoo? Oh, there you are. Just to let you know that Zinnia is coming round to play. But I'm a super explorer. I don't need anyone else to find the treasure. Oh, but it must be more fun to treasure hunt with friends than play on your own. Hmm. All right. I'll just have to be a super explorer later. Sorry, Pock. We'll get back to our treasure hunting later on. All right? Wow! A giant box! Hmm. Now I can surprise Zinnia when she gets here. <laughs> Waiting for Zinnia is boring, Pock. <laughs> Let's pretend this cardboard box is a car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. This is fun. Grandpa, hmm? can I turn this box into a racing car? I want to go for a drive. Oh, what a good idea, Zoo. <laughs> it was only going to be recycled anyway. Thanks, Grandpa. Pock and I are going to paint some wheels and some windows and a door handle onto it so that it looks like a real car. I like your car idea, Zoo, but please do the painting in the garden, eh? <laughs> Not in the hall. Don't worry, we're going to carry everything out now. Finished? Not yet, Grandpa. I've just got to get my scissors to cut out the windows. Oh, hold on. Let me help you. Uh, cutting out pieces of cardboard is a job for a grown-up. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Grandpa. It really looks just like a real racing car now. <laughs> hmm? oh, hello. Hello. Have fun, darling. Hi, Zinnia. I love your new car, Zoo. Could we go for a drive and take my dolls out? All right. Let's go. Hmm? Take all of your dolls. One's enough, isn't I'm it? I'm sure you can fit everyone in, Zoo. You'll have a lot more fun traveling all together than just by yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zinnia. You can bring all of your dolls then. Goody. Bye, Mom. Bye, Grandpa. See you later. Have fun. Have a good trip. Yes, please. Can we? OK, but hurry up. Come on, everyone. Hop in. Hey, careful with my dolls. Sorry, Zinnia. <laughs> Has everyone got their seatbelts on? Yes. So here we go, to the racetrack. 
Can't we go to the seaside instead? OK. I'll drive you there. Oh, no. I'd like to go shopping with my dolls. The beach is this way, Zoo. But the shops are that way. No, we're going this way. No, we're going that way. Zinnia! All right, all right. As we can't decide where to go, I'll take Elsie to the beach and Zinnia to the shops. And then Zach and I can go to the racetrack. Vroom, vroom. I'll come back and pick you up. See you later. Bye, Elsie. Next stop, the shops for Zinnia and her dolls. Here we are. Thank you, Zoo. Bye, Zinnia. Bye. And off we go. Hey, Zoo, could I drive your car on the racetrack? Well, actually, no, you can't. You don't have your driver licence, Zack. And it's my car. That's not fair. It isn't any fun being a passenger. I want to go to the beach with Elsie. Hmm. Where shall we go, Park? <whistles> You're right. It isn't any fun driving on your own. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to go to the beach. <laughs> or to the shops. <sighs> it's hard to travel with other people because they all want to go different places. But on your own, it's just boring. I'm sure you'll find a place that everyone agrees on, and I've got something that might help you. Really? And what's that? A lovely picnic basket full of sandwiches and fruit juices. Yay! The basket's in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah! Grandma made it earlier. I love picnics, and with my friends it's going to be great. Grandma! Grandma! I've come to get the picnic baskets. It'll give you plenty of energy for your drive. Enjoy! Thanks, Grandma. Do you know where you're going for your picnic? Not yet, Grandma. <laughs> Zoo? Why aren't you with your friends? I'm going, but I just had an idea. We don't need to go far to find a great place for our picnic. Thanks! Elsie, Zach, Zinnia, come and see what Grandma has made for us. Wow! Looks yummy! Mmm, delicious! And I've got an idea. Why don't we have our picnic in the garden? I found the best place. Yay! Where is it? There, oh. under the big tree. Let's sit on the grass. What about at the garden table? Oh, let's not start arguing again. Look. Puck is waiting for us. And Sue's right. Under the tree is the best place to have a picnic together. You're right. Let's go. I'm in charge of sharing out the sandwiches. The first one is for Zach. The second one for Elsie, the third one is for Zoo, the fourth one is mine, and the fifth one is for my dolls. <coughs> to be shared with Pop, too, of course. <laughs> it's delicious. I'm happy that we're all together. It's much more fun than being alone. Yes, you're right. Time for everyone to go home now. Oh, no. It's too early. We're still playing. And my dolls haven't finished eating yet. And we haven't finished our drive. <gasps> I've got an idea. Everyone, back in the car. Mum, to get back home, we've got to drive the other way round. And Zach can be our driver. Yes! Oh, thanks, Zoo. Have a safe journey, then. Bye, Mum. We're on our way. See you soon. Everyone got their seatbelts on? Yes! yes. Ready, Zach? Ready! Full speed! 